the prime senator, I think, just went all out as he realized that if I beat these three, I have a chance with Quinella. Oh, every inch of her body for one night. <laughs> Bro, I just locked the fucking... Actually, pretty funny. It shouldn't be that hard to beat, right? We have all three of us together. Let's see what's gonna happen in today's reaction. <laughs> I'm fine with the recap. I'm so down with the recap scene because he pops up, bro. <laughs> with this, like, upside down on his head, his socks burns off. <laughs> See, that's a scary thing. I am invincible. The power of Horny is gonna actually make him so strong because the more you believe in something, the mental image of Quinella in bed is gonna surpass that of the Giga Sitter tree, bro. <laughs> Titan of the sword. Titan of the sword. I mean, I don't see Prime Center using a sword. Is that alluding to Kirito's new shit? What the fuck? Or maybe the summon thing is the titan of the sword? I don't know. Is this the titan? Maybe. I mean, he is the prime senator. <laughs> is he actually gonna hold this pose? Is he actually gonna hold this pose until the end of the battle? I kinda wanna spin him on his head. Like a fucking Beyblade, bro. Well, 3v1, we can do it. Okay. Pontifex is still around? Yes. Yes. Dude, you got 10 seconds, motherfucker. 10 seconds, you stare it. Go, 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 go. Here we go, here we go. Enhance armaments, the perp, the beams. Oh, she's still here, got it. She just goes, man. They're not even saying, they're just skipping commands now. The system call discharge. I mean, last episode, they didn't even bother calling system call. No more fucking cryogenic elements. Form something discharge. me no all of me knows that pontifex let this happen she could have totally saved him but she was like I give this motherfucker my body for a night like nah nah i feel like quinella was like nah i'm not gonna fuck that guy dude nah wow that was quick I said that it wouldn't take, it shouldn't be too hard, but like, damn, like, we're still five minutes into the fucking episode and he's already done. Nice teamwork. Yo, Kirito, what was that? Was that enhanced armaments? Oh! I just real- Because I thought... The... This whole animation here. I, I was more focused on, like, the red aura being transferred from his sword into the ground. I don't even realize this is the black swordsman drip. Holy shit. Why? He's like 
going back into Aincrad Drip, what does that symbolize? That he just accessed the powers of Aincrad style through his memories? I, I'm, 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 I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but he just straight up new drip, new mode. That, that never happened during the last system armament, but whatever happens, okay. The Black Swordsman. And it's gone. The sword as well, though. The sword as well, right? Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. The sword stays the same. It's just... Yeah. <laughs> the fucking glove as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, good point. Uh, I think that Kirito maybe have like imagined like either this is like Zacido and you know how everything it kind of relates to Aincrad, but maybe a mental image of him believing in himself as the strongest swordsman in SAO, you know, created that design of the outfit. I'm not sure. I think there's a lot of different interpretations one could have with that, but <laughs> Man, he just wanted the crumb of that coochie. He just wanted you, and now it's gone. Good night, Prime Senator. I mean, he's pretty trash. Irregular boy. You're different. Yeah, she knows, because she has contact with Wrath employees, right? <laughs> Yo, you, you're gonna break their minds, though, if, if you say this shit, right? Because obviously, Yuji and Alice don't know. Quinella knew. But, like, if you say this shit, a human from the outer side, other side, like... I, well, she's not saying... She's not saying, like, you know... Outside the game, but, like, man... What, what would... Ha that's so interesting. If you confronted Yuji and Alice that they're fucking AI NPCs into the game, like... What would happen? Would they lose their minds? So not <laughs> Those are not boring stories, bro. I think the whole revelation of the system art usage and how she brute forced the system command, bro, that shit was actually one of the best backstory lores I've ever seen. Because it was so unique to SAO. Because these are just like commands that you would type in a computer, but because of the story of how SA has been building up into Aristization throughout fucking two seasons and a couple movies, man, like, bro, it's, it's like such a unique, distinct thing only SAO can do, and they executed it like amazingly. <laughs> I don't think she's even serious about it. Like, I still think she's double dipping right now. Because either the Prime Senator was the one being ignorant and being like, you know what, whatever, you do it. But I doubt it. I, it she definitely has to know. Someone as as paranoid as her, like, I totally see her double dipping the entire time. And that's why she feels confident that even with like 31 nights, 32 nights, like we could still fight the dark. Because like she probably is like, again, double dipping both sides. She's so respectful still. That's right, everyone. The strongest knights were like, yo, we can't do this. We need more. But, like, why would she care if the people... Because, like, she can just restart this from scratch, too, right? Like, she has eternity. Does it... Like, isn't it better for her to... Maybe she's like, oh, you know what? I'm getting tired of this shit. Let's just call the fucking population. Like, I, I would totally think that Quinella could do that. Right? <laughs> No trust. I thought she even trusts herself. Because, like, the entire personality Quinella was to be just this, like, power-controlling freak who doesn't want anyone to even come close to her status. Cap. Gaslight! 
No, you kept us in a cage, ignorant. I don't, I don't think she cares. Loyalty is always misled, guys. That doesn't mean don't be loyal. But like, like, it doesn't matter. All that loyalty, like it was all misguided from the beginning. She never saw you as family. <laughs> and she abused it. Century ago, and you still said, nah, we good. Basically, the factory reset, right? Every time they're like getting a little bit too independent in their thought, it's just like, okay, time to take the PD module out and put a new one and reset you. <laughs> yeah. You monster! That's is Alice about to do something? Guys, I just realized the grip on our sword. I know this is specific to Yuji when he does the ice thing, but like, doesn't Alice also. <laughs> this thing, is she getting ready for some shit, right? Is she already preemptively about to use Assistant Call, like, release recollection or some shit? Let's go, Alice! She's becoming woke! Don't watch your love. So, like, what's gonna happen here between them, right? Because, like, it's 3v1, but I still feel like we can't really beat her because she just has hacks. Like, what the fuck is gonna happen? Like, how would we even beat her? I don't think slashing with the sword is gonna do anything. <laughs> wait, 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 I forgot, I forgot, wait, 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 wait. remember, 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 we still have the dagger, Yuju has the dagger, and basically the things that we were gonna do to Alice, right? And Kirito wasted his fan on Fanatio, but we still have the dagger to stab Quinella and then Cardinal do her shit, and that should open an opportunity. Oh, shit. Oh, oh we're getting a little bit too real.過去を好き放題編集人のことして生まれたそうだろうだったらどうだって言うの君と書け僕の側から来たある以上完璧な存在ではありえないとおかしい生き物だ。そしてあなたのあなたの。But Again, I still am totally down to think that she is double dipping right now, and that's why she doesn't give a fuck about this. Or maybe she's just a negligent queen who is too high off of her power to realize what's happening beyond us. <laughs> Not annihilated. Eldrie, uh, Dusavolt, Fanatiu all should be on standby ready to help us. Even Berkeley, I know he's petrified a bit, but I feel like they will come a moment where they clutch for us. <laughs> そう思ってるのか。残念ながらそうはならこの世界に対して真に絶対の権限を持つ者たちがいるからだ。今回は失敗だ。いや。また最初からやり直そうってな。そして一つ。So yep. threatening Quinella by saying that if the human empire goes down due to, you know, Quinella's negligence, then they're going to just reset everything and even you admin will go away. But what if Quinella struck a specific deal where Kikoka, you know, has a backup of her data on a USB that could simply be reinserted into the new world? You know what I mean? Like, how far does Quinella's, like, reach go to the real world with Wrath? <gasps> they dropped the database! Yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 Religion. People want, people are afraid of the unknown. They create religious figures so that they don't feel like they're, you know, misguided and want some faith to believe it. Yes. Higher power. Yes. This entire thing is a simulation of the real world as well. Yeah, some people do live like that. Yes. Kirito, just say yes! That's literally what religion is! In fear of hell, a doomsday! Fucking Armageddon! You know, you need to believe in Christ and, you know, do all these good things or else when judgment day comes, it's over! That's, that's the fear, that is the reset! 
なはずないわよね。おじさん。たわむれに世界と命を捨てたくなれば、消し去ろうなんてれん、私の選択をどうこういう権利があって。She doesn't know he's Kirito, bro. <laughs> This girl is showing up in the fucking third season. How many episodes of SO have we watched so far? She got no fucking clue who she's dealing with. Once this kid's eyes start glowing gold, if he picks up a second sword, you're cooked. I'm sorry, Pontifex. I'm sorry, Quinella. I have seen season one. I have seen Iron Crowd, ALO, GGO, Tonky Arc, Mother of Rosario. Like, lady, you got no clue what you're dealing with. <laughs> She really doesn't want to get on her knees, huh? It's just like the wording right now. <laughs> These legs were meant to step on people, not to get on my fucking knees. Yeah. I, I guess so. I don't know. What's your plan? Or of accepting the final load test. What is that? Have we ever mentioned that before? The Cardinal ever mentioned it? Or is this the first time we're hearing of the final load test? It sounds familiar. Final load test. Did we hear this? Am I crazy? The Cardinal ever mentioned it? Kikoku mentioned it. Ah. Was that outside? What's happening right now outside? Um, there's a warship. Right? There's a warship. I think, I mean, what, what is a load test? Well... A load test kind of sounds like a, like a stress test. Whenever you're trying to create new software and you want to see how many users can it hit at the same time, you want to overload, do some sort of stress test to see like exactly how robust is the system. In that, uh, with that context, if we apply it here, then like this whole simulation of the underworld right now is the final load test. Or ac of accepting the final. They ha she hasn't accepted the final load test. This sounds like the final beta test of project, you know, uh, aristization to get what they want, I think. Perfected a command to counter the perfect load test, the human interference of the underworld resetting? What could you possibly do in here to free yourself from the controls of wrath? I don't know. Why was the warship moving? Is the ocean turtle pig... Is our base going to get under attack? Let's just think that our ocean base is going to be under attack because the warship left, you know, an early escort because Quinella did something and someone attacks that base. But then all the hardware shit is there. Wouldn't she also disappear unless, unless this is cloud gaming right now and everything is offloaded, abstracted away to different infrastructure? I don't know, but this is very interesting that she has a command to counter that. Okay. Okay, let's see it. Just all robots. Knights were just a default test. I mean, that sounds like the Dark Territory people, right? Dark side. Oh, Bakai! Oh, Yoshi! Of course she can. Why did I, th I don't know, because I didn't see her with the sword. I didn't think that she could. She had a system armament. Oh, my God. All the different weapons here. Shield? What the? Ain't that you, Geos? It's not a shield, it's a fucking knight. Damn! Peak animation. This must be the Titan of the Sword, huh? The episode title. I'm like, Titan of the Sword? The fuck? The golem that the prime center or something? Nah, 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 nah. This is a titan of the sword. 30 weapons worth of release recollection? <laughs> She's using hacks. What? I kind of wanted to say titan of the sword, but we'll take it. Now, can we reason? With this thing like the most like like imagine we did talk no jutsu and like it understood us and like <laughs> became sent it can't the whole point of this thing is that it's a fucking bot it's automated it's the perfect soulless 
unintelligent machine that'll never talk back. But imagine we did that, and Queen Ella's like, are you fucking serious? Joker. Oh? Outside the tower? Damn. Oh, no. Stretching, huh? Queen Ella's stretching. Well... I feel like GoldenEye Kirito dual wielding uh, with Sword Lamp playing is still gonna beat this thing. Already? Alice donutted? All thanks to you, 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 you dumbass, you didn't fucking lock in and she had to take that. <sighs> well, what does this mean now? That Alice is just done? I don't believe it. I don't think Alice will just die here. What about the promise to rule the village? Maybe that was all set up for this fucking death. If it, if, if it even happens. Yo, transfer durability? What are we gonna do? <laughs> Okay, now this is just dumb. At this point, I'm actually relieved. Do you know why I'm relieved? Because in no, in no situation will Kirito actually die and just be done because season four exists, right? Whenever something as unreasonable as this happened, this is basically a, a video game where you're fighting a boss and you can't win against the boss and you die, then you think you're dead, but a cutscene happens and you're like, ah, oh, nice. That's the feeling that I'm getting right now. Or maybe I should be like some of the reactors and be like, Oh no! Kito's dead! Guys, I can't believe this is happening! <laughs> no, it can't be! <laughs> Come on. Come on! They're not gonna die, bro! Come on! Things are looking pretty bad, though. <laughs> Yuji, do something! Yuji, do something! Yuji. Cardinal! Spider! Nice, nice! Let's go, Spider Pride! Woo! You can do it, Spider! Ooh. Yuju, please move! What are you doing? Uh, did Yuju even move? He did, he did. Good, good. Good, 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 good. I thought he stayed in place. Now, Cardinal, do your thing. The hidden library. Wait, 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 wait. Cardinal's not dying because this is simply a spider that was a tool of Cardinal. Is this actually Cardinal? Wait a How? Really? That's what the dialogue is sounding like. It, it's, it's, it's just a spider talking. This is not Cardinal. This is just spider talking, right? It's just spider. I'm like, there's no way Cardinal's gonna die because the spider fucking died. It's not like the Cardinal is possessing. No, 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 no. It's just a spider. Just a spider. Just a spider. You did your job, spider. Rest in peace, soldier. Damn. Betty appears from ReZero. <laughs> Betty fucking appears from ReZero right now. Yo, <laughs> Yo, Cardinal ain't not fucking around. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> She's here, the librarian. Now she's got some hacks powers too, let's go. And the knife got hit, so what's gonna happen now? I mean, there's a platform. Can she just heal everybody? Yes, she can. Why the fuck could she not save the spider? So you're gonna save Alice? You're gonna save Kirito's wound, but the spider just dies? That's fucked up. That hover was smooth. I know the spider's already dead, but the events of this shit happening was so fucking fast. It's just like, damn, could we not have saved her? Twin sister was the analogy, I think. Okay. Quinella just waiting, just listening. I mean, the golem is pretty much one shot by Cardinal now. Spider! No, oh, spider! Damn. Bro. A spider already retired and was no longer even in service, yet he, she came to our support no matter what. That's crazy. I mean, that's what she wanted to do. Sharot. 
How are you gonna fucking say that in this impactful moment? <laughs> nah, she's just an NPC. <laughs> no! That's right. These are not AI NPCs. They are, but they're more than that. Project Aristization is showing us that these beings that you think are AI NPCs are more humans than some of the actual humans in the real world, man. How ironic is that? The beings that Kikoka seems as just sacrifices and mindless soldiers are actual living things with emotions and dreams and ambitions, bro. They're pretty much human, but you can never understand that if you can't empathize with them because you never spent time with them. <laughs> Two years of service. That connection, man. Felt real to me. This line right here, basically the theme of Project Aristization, right? The whole philosophical debate of is AI real or not? And in this depiction of that story, yes, even if it's just pure data of input and output, even so, it's still more human than some of the humans that we've seen outside. It is also so, mind blowing that Quinella is just sitting doing nothing. Yo, this is fucking Asuna's. Sorry, not Asuna. This is Alice's theme. It's playing for Cardinal. Let's go. Look at those wings. Ending incoming. Cliffhanger. Yeah, that's another episode of SAO, man. And <laughs> actually, both golems, bro, both golems got one shot so quickly bro like holy shit this one got tossed immediately kirito's um special move here was very interesting i did not recognize that his drip change i was too focused on all the special effects but it's like holy shit this is the black swordsman Einkrat style so i wonder if the imagery was him envisioning himself as the number one swordsman in Einkrat, you know in uh sao part one and Maybe this is how he gained that form. Who knows? There's a lot of different interpretations one could, you know, imagine. And then after Queen Nella releasing her recollection, it's like, oh shit, what? The golem was pretty intimidating, and then it just got fucking one shot immediately. This, as soon as Kirito got stabbed, again, it's just like, I can't take it seriously, because I don't think they're actually in danger if the main character is in a lethal position. It's just not going to actually happen. And Cardinal shows up and saves. And the most impactful moment is Charlotte the Spider. You know, data. Just a collection of data, input, output. Yet it was more human. Is it even able to love, right? This whole, you know, debate of whether or not these AIs are real things or not. Do they deserve human rights or not? But I think the story is showing us that they do. Now, aside from that, Quinella's dialogue is very interesting in how she views the underworld reset. She says that she's created a command to prepare for that. But I don't think that command was the release recollection for that golem. I think that this is beyond that. Like, like think of it from like an actual, like real perspective of this is a video game and this character in a video game is anticipating server reset. And she's saying, no, nah, I know how to prevent that from happening. There is also the final load test, which I'm assuming is the final round of simulations for project isolation before everything, you know, gets reset. And we start from zero again. Quinella apparently has a plot. I still think that she's on the dark territory side and that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.